The meeting, Building Real-Time AI Voice Agents, has been scheduled for June 10th, 2025 at 8 p.m. for 15 minutes. Hi, this is Sumit So, and in this video, I'm going to automate all the tasks on Google Calendar using real-time AI voice agent that is connected with MCP server. This agent has three major components, the agent itself. Using agent, you can create a really complex agentic flow. I created my own class that is extending this agent component. Here, I can add system prompt, a whole array of MCP server. So, this MCP server could be created locally or it could be a standalone unit that is hosted somewhere. I created this MCB server on Zapier. Here you just have to click this new MCB server. You have to select your client and then you can give it some name. We have these three uh, important tab. In connect tab, you can copy this URL and simply paste it here. Create a copy of this environment file and add this webhook URL here so that we can call that MCB server and all the actions that it's going to perform will be available in this history tab. Select tool that we want to connect is a selected Google Calendar and I'm giving it access to all the tools that are available. So this is how I can create a MCB server and connect to my own AI voice agent. Second component is pipeline where I am going to choose my favorite speech to speech model. And finally, we can connect this AI agent to existing application. Using video SDK, you can create real time audio video applications for Android, iOS, most platform applications. And this agent SDK is nothing but just a instance of these existing sessions. So you will find agent session. There we have these three major components, uh, agent, pipeline, and context. In context, this is our room ID, and this one is the name of that agent. Next, uh, to get started with this project, I created this extensive readme and this client application using VDSDK's React SDK. Here you will find a quick start to create a very basic bone meeting structure using React SDK. Even you can add those agents to your Unity games. That's crazy, isn't it? Now let's see how we can get started with this app. And finally, we will see a demo of our MCP server. To get started with this project, you need a Google API keys. And then you need to add VDSDK token to create that room. And finally, that Zapier URL I talked in a uh, first segment. Uh, to get started with this project, simply copy HTTP URL inside your terminal, inside any folder you want. You can simply clone this repository. It's very easy. Let's navigate to this folder and let's open it in VS Code. So I already uh, cloned this repository. As you can see, I have this client component. And in this client component, you just simply navigate to this client you first need to install all the dependencies and if you check out its uh, environment file there you will find a template file here we have to specify VDSDK token so that we can create a room and our server URL uh, you can navigate to app.vdsdk.live in API keys simply click this key icon select an expiry for your token once you do that uh, our token will be available to you that you just simply have to paste inside your env file so basically create a copy of this template file and then add this value there so I have already added my credential in this env file uh, and we can get started with this application by simply running this script which is npm run now and our app will be live on port 080 next uh, to run uh, this server we first have to create a virtual environment so i'm using uv as a package manager so it created a virtual uh, environment for me so let me activate that by uh, you know running that activate script perfect so next I have to install all the packages that are specified in this requirements file. To install all those packages in this command, I have to specify input file. This is how you can install all this dependency. It's very fast. And finally, you can run your, uh, basically your server using UV cone. So we are using this ASGI fast API uh, application. What we did, we uh, basically created a server that is going to listen to 
join request from the client as i told you uh, we created that client application that is running on local host 8080 when i click this connect button i'm sending that token and this room id that is started here in the client side to the server for that you will find a pin endpoint that i have created for you so once that request is received i'm running uh, some operations in background so you will you will find in this uh, API API endpoint that I have created. I'm running the server operation in background. This is where I'm doing all the initialization. This is where you can perform all the tasks and it's very easy. To get started with the server, we just have to specify instance of the API app and the port where we would like to run this app. A server is running on port 8001. Now I would like to forward this port publicly using ngrog so that we can use it inside our client if we host this server then we have to specify that server url to client to do that uh, we can use ngrog and it is going to generate a public server url that we can call in our client app so here in our client app specify your url that's all you have to do. So if you look at this server file, I created two MCP server. Very first MCP server is a local MCP server that is basically telling me current time. And the second one is a independently hosted MCP server. So let's test how they actually work. First, uh, let me ask a question that is answered using a local MCP server that is basically telling me current time uh, okay let's see how it work uh, hey can you tell me what is the current time the current time is 10 53 pm on june 9th 2025 is there anything else i can help you with that's correct now what i'm gonna do i'll make use of mcp server that is hosted here i'm going to observe all its action using this real-time ai voice agent so let's ask this AI agent to create an event on Google Calendar. Hi, uh, can you create an event on Google Calendar? I want to invite uh, Sumit. Uh, email address is I can help with that. Could you please provide the following details? Your full name, meeting title, preferred date and time. My meeting duration. Yeah, so my, my full name is Sumit. Meeting should start at 8 p.m. And the title for the meeting is Building Real-Time AI Voice Agents. Okay, so your name is Sumit, and you'd like to schedule a meeting for building real-time AI voice agents at 8 p.m. I still need a few more details to book this for you. What is the preferred date for this meeting? So How that, long should the meeting... Yeah, so date should be on June 10th. And it should be like, yeah, so it should be like 15 minutes long, yeah. Okay, so let me confirm. You want to create a meeting titled Building Real-Time AI Voice Agents for Sumit. Contact at on June 10th at 8 p.m. for 15 minutes. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. The meeting Building Real-Time AI Voice Agents has been scheduled for June 10th, 2025 at 8 p.m. for 15 minutes. Inside my inbox, I might have received some new messages. Let me refresh. I have received this email on my personal email dashboard and this is how you can make use of real-time AI voice agent to do even more complex tasks. To get started with this project, please follow this GitHub repository. So please give it a star to this repository and follow our YouTube channel and if you have any problem, you can simply head over to our Discord community. See you until next time.